Welcome to downtown Tulsa, One Oak Field. We are joined by a very, very, very special guest, outfielder in the Dodgers system, Austin Beck joins. Austin, thanks so much for joining. I've had just a blast getting to know your game, getting to know you and all that, so welcome in. Thank you, I appreciate it. I uh, appreciate you having me on. Okay, so you've been in the game since 2017. You were a first round draft pick. You became a free agent after your six years of service. Last year, you chose the Dodgers, so let's start right there. Why choose the Dodgers? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's the Dodgers. Um, you know, they came calling early in free agency, and uh, we, had a, we had a really good Zoom meeting, um, told me where they stand, um, and I just really liked everything they had to say, so uh, I kind of jumped on board. So. Okay, man, it's like you hit the ground running when you came here. It's like you fit in like a glove. Yeah, um, you know, that's a tribute to all the guys, um, Henny as well. Um, you know, it kind of brought me in. I was kind of the new guy on the block, obviously. Um, and it was pretty special to see them kind of just take me in. Um, and I, I was able to hit the ground running that way. I was comfortable. Um, and I, that's, kinda, that's a big thing in this game is if you're comfortable, you're going to play so much better. So Henning's pretty awesome too, isn't he? Henning's awesome. Um, great players coach, great manager, knows what he's doing. Um, he's just a great guy overall. Super competitive, but yet holds you accountable, yeah, all that kind of stuff every day. It's absolutely. great. Okay, so you're with the A's from 2017 when he got drafted. You fought a lot of injuries as of late. So take us through your time with the A's, through all the injuries, overcoming that, and how you got to today. Um, so I tore my ACL in 2016 in high school. Um, got back from that, felt good. Uh, had a really good first full year with the A's. And after that, it was kind of like, whether it was a hamstring, quad, uh, kind of all on that same oh, side. Um, and we ended up finding out last year, I dislocated my kneecap, and we had an MRI and found out that my ACL had been torn for a few years. Um, oh, wow, for a few years. It was, it, oh scar tissue was kind of holding it all together. Um, and so it kind of, it made sense with all the injuries. Um, it kind of led to all those. So I was happy to get them fixed. Um, and I'm just, I'm praying for a healthy full year this year. It's kind of my main goal. Um, and so. One thing these guys find when they come over to the Dodgers is that they allow you to be you. They give you suggestions, not demands. So for a guy like Austin Beck, how's that helped you? You know, it helped a lot. Confidence-wise as well. Um, I got into the into pro ball. Uh, had, I had my old high school swing. Was confident. I struggled a little bit. Uh, changed it some. And then it was just constant changes after that. So I got, to the, I got with the Dodgers. Um, that first week, they were like, dude, just go back and, and swing how you swung. Just be you. And I was like, okay. And it, ever since then, it's just been, the confidence has been through the roof. Swings felt great. And uh, it's like going back to being comfortable in the box. And that's, that's kind of the main thing, so. Isn't that amazing in today's day of uh, digital everything? We talk about all these complexities and sometimes it's just going back to being simple again, right? It, it's exactly right, you know. Uh, yeah, the game's weird. You know, there's, there's all these metrics and stuff. Yeah, they work, but if you're not comfortable in the box, then that's going to mess with your head, it's going to mess with your confidence, and that's kind of the main thing in this game. If you're if you're comfortable and confident, you're going to, you're going to do some good things. So. so the thing from a physical perspective, a swing perspective, the first thing I noticed, the easy power you create. Your head doesn't move. It just seems like everything's simple with your swing. So talk about how you generate such easy power. Uh, so you know my dad, growing up, um, smooth is better. It's kind of all he, okay. he, he preached that. Nice. Um, smooth, easy, and it, your hands, your body in the right spot, it's gonna create power. Uh, and that's just kind of what I've kind of always been taught and preached to, is just be smooth and be comfortable and be, just be easy and free in the box. And so that's kind of where it came from. So. Your dad's Mason, right? Yep. Uncle Mason too? Uncle is, yeah. And then Grandma Loretta? Yep. Okay, awesome, very good. You have a lot of fans there that, that love watching, watching you play every night. So okay, 25 years old. You've been in the game long enough to become a free agent, but yet you're only 25. So do you kind of feel like sometimes people see you as older, being older than you actually are? Uh, yeah, sometimes, you know, I've been in, in the game a, a while. Um, and so people automatically think I'm probably older than I am. Um, whether my, my body feels that way or not, you know, it's a, it's a tough game. But uh, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely see that. Um, but then they go back and they're like, oh, he's only 25. Like, yeah. he's still got some time, so. Yeah, absolutely. So being the first round draft pick, having all the setbacks, does that put a chip on your shoulder to kind of want to prove to people exactly how good you are? A little bit, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, 
you know, I had some tough years with the A's. Um, then it, I got hit with that injury, and uh, you know, I mean, any injury like that it's in the back of your mind, you're like you don't know if it's if it's going to end your career or not. It's a tough injury, especially being the second time. Uh, so I was like, in my mind, I was like, I want to come back and I want to prove who I am and why I got drafted. Um, and so the Dodgers are, are, are really good with that, with, about doing that. So. All right, man, this team has been playing really good as of late, so I'm sure you're happy with that. But you're fifth in the Texas League in home runs. Most of your underlying metrics, all the overlying metrics have been good. Tell us what you're happy with. Uh, you know, my swing feels good right now. Uh, it, it all goes back to being comfortable again, you know. If you're comfortable, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do good. I'm gonna see the ball well, um, and you know, the, I mean, the other stats I didn't even realize. Um, I'm just going up there doing what I can for my team and uh, trying to put runs across the board for us to have a good chance to win, uh, and that's kind of been the main goal. So, so you get to play next to Jose Ramos, Damon Keith, Bubba Aline, Taylor Young, Alex for the Dalton rushing. I mean, come on, man. You get to play with great players, right? I'm sure being 25, being a little bit older, knowing how it's, it looks, knowing how things go. Does playing with that caliber of talent, does that also make you a better player? It does. You know, you play with better players, obviously you're going to strive to be better. Um, there's a standard, obviously, with everybody. I mean, you go out there, do your job, and there's going to be no complaints. Um, and it, it's been awesome. Like I said, yeah, they're, they're great players, um, but they're even better teammates. Uh, and that's just kind of what's been a uh, big success over here with us is the clubhouse is phenomenal. Um, we all have a blast, and we're just going to continue to do that. And uh, chips fall where they fall. You know, we're just going to do our best and try and win. So, what things do you think you're doing well enough right now to be a consistent major leaguer? Uh, I'd say my consistency of getting my work done for the game. Um, that's kind of a big key is preparing. Um, and I mean, if you're preparing to play well, you're going to you're going to do well. Um, and so that, that's I'd say. My consistency. What are your goals every day when you show up? Uh, my goal is just to do the best I can, um, control what I can control. That's that's the big thing. Um, if you can control what you can control, and don't worry about the outliers, then you're, you're going to have a good day. So. You've had a big grind to get where you're at. You're so close to the major leagues. What message would you have for kids to get in the position you're in right now? Uh, don't give up. You know, um, I've obviously been in a situation of success and failure. Um, and with these injuries, it's kind of taught me, you know, the game can be taken from you really quick. Yep. Um, so just keep grinding uh, and, and do the best you can and control what you can and, and you'll be all right. Austin Beck, thank you so much for joining. Thank you.